I, hey, like good, good win. Like anytime you can win on the road in college, it's, it's, it's good. Um, you know, really, um, really proud of the guy's effort for sticking with it. You know, like it wasn't easy, like shots weren't falling. Um, and we just continued to, I thought our defense, we were pretty connected defensively. Um, you know, we were able to make some adjustments and, and carry them through. Um, so that's so, so a lot of really good things, but, um, you know, I, th I think the thing that I'm most proud of is, is the fight that these guys showed, uh, especially in the second half. When things kind of weren't going their way. They just they just continue to, to try to put good possessions together. I thought we were getting great shots all night, honestly. I, I mean, I, you know, they, we saw only a handful of possessions a man, a lot of zone. Um, I thought we attacked it well. I thought, like I said, I thought we got really good shots. Just one of those nice things weren't falling. Uh, but they didn't let affect, they did not let it affect their defense. Um, and they kind of stayed the course and, um, you know, found a, found a way to win. So um, I'll answer your questions from there. Yeah. Um, first thing, just kind of not so much about the game. Sure. Here, so. All right. Um, first thing, not so much about the game, more for Jalen. Can you hear me? Yeah. First thing, just not so much about the game, just more for Jalen. Um, you got your 1,000th career collegiate point. Did you know, like, going into the game or during the game that you were close? Uh, first, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, yeah, I did know. Um, my girl was talking to me about it, um, and I knew I was getting close to it because I looked at it earlier in the year, and I knew that I was getting close to it. Yeah, so was that something that as the game went on, like, you're trying to get to that mark, especially, you know, towards the end when you kind of know that you've got the better, win. Better no, not no, definitely not. I wasn't, I was not thinking about it at all. Uh, honestly, during the entire game, I was just trying to win. Yeah. Um, do you feel like the win makes it even better? The fact that you got that and you got a big win in the same night. The win is the most important thing to me. Yeah. Was there any particular feeling for you when you realized you got the 1000? I was joyful when we got the win. For sure. Um, Coach, more about the win. Um, it felt like, especially towards the end, you kind of won mentally. I mean, they were making mistakes at the free throw line. They just threw a couple of balls out of bounds. Did you feel that way too? Well, I, you know, I, I just thought, like I said, I, I thought our defense was pretty connected um, all game. I thought, um, you know, we, we went back to the, the one three one on a few possessions. We got some mileage out of that. You know, I think they, they scored on one of probably five or six possessions. Um, you know, we got a couple turnovers um, out of it. Um, and then, you know, like, we, we, I thought we did a really good job um, changing up our ball screen coverage against Coit, trying to get the ball out of his hands late. Um, and, uh, you know, be, to be able to make some of those adjustments in the game and us, us carry, carry them out um, was good. Uh, I also thought we, you know, out of a timeout, we kind of uh, changed a little bit of, uh, how we wanted to attack that that zone, and, and uh, we got Jalen in the middle there, and you know he was able to make some plays and and uh, do some different things. So I, I thought we were able to do some things throughout the game um, that gave us a chance to win, and, and that's you know something that we haven't been that consistent with and being able to carry out some of those things. So um, really proud of those guys, especially the the six guys that, that played the second half. Their fight um, and, and their ability to compete. Uh, when things weren't exactly going their way all the time. Yeah. Um, the zone in particular, when you guys switched it up a little bit, seemed to be to be very um, successful with Jalen in the middle. Talk to me about that decision and why you went with it. Offense or defense? Defense, I'm sorry. Because Jalen's on a, on a wing. Um, you, know, you just, like, one, they were getting downhill. Um, we were getting spread out, spread out a little bit. Um, and just, you know, with the lineup that they had in, um, you know, really with just one accomplished shooter out there um, that we felt like we could shade to just to give them a curveball. I thought they were getting a little bit too uh, comfortable and in a rhythm offensively. Um, and uh, we threw it out there for possession of works. And so we just, you know, we kind of rolled with it a few times and um, got some mileage out of it, gave us an opportunity. And then, you know, we were able to get some things in transition and then attack in the half court. Yeah. Um, we've talked a lot after losses this year about just kind of, you wanting more, I guess, mental strength late in games, and it seemed like the team showed a lot of poise today. Um, how did you get from that point 
on Saturday to that point tonight? I, I didn't get to that point. Yeah, you gotta give you gotta give these guys um, a lot of credit. These two here and and the guys in the locker room. Um, you know, we trying to build habits. You know, and, and and they they got to a situation and like you know Bashir sitting next to me. Um, you know, I had 17 and 10, but it wasn't his most efficient night, and he just stayed with it. You know, like you know though that's that's growth, and that's kind of the, the joy of coaching is you get to you get to watch guys, um, you know, grow. And and he didn't want a poor shooting night affect how he defended or affect um, the, the the force and pace that he played with offensively that caused a lot of problems and opened up some things for some other guys. Um, you know, Jalen stepping up to the free throw line, hitting free throws late, you know, like the guys are overcoming, you know, things that have maybe happened in the past and that's growth. That's, um, you know, these, whether it's basketball or something else, man, these guys got to show that they have the ability to do that. Um, to see us overcome that tonight, um, like I said, I'm really proud of their effort. Yeah. Um, Bashir, it, it seemed like, you know, the whole team battled adversity well tonight, but you more than really anybody um, first half didn't have a field goal, had five turnovers. Second half, you hit three field goals and you have no turnovers. How did you kind of not let that first half affect you and continue to play well in the second half? I mean, you know, it's, it's not easy uh, um, shooting the way I did the first half. You know, you can get in your head or you, know, you can go out there and try to be you can for the team. I mean, obviously, I draw a lot of attention. So just trying to, uh, you know, be in spots that I can get other guys open. Like, just, you know, it's, like I said, like you said, playing with force, getting some free throw line. But I mean, that's that's what I love about basketball, just, you know, adversity. Like, you, you can go into a game not even wanting to play, but once that, once that ball starts bouncing or something, something happens, you be ready to, to fight back and, you know, do something else. Sure. Um, we I talked about – I got hit through 12 fouls tonight. You know, right. so well, well his, his shot wasn't falling. He found another way to, you know, to get – to get to the, he got 11 out 13 from the free throw line. Um, he, you know, he got he got 10 rebounds, like he was able to impact the game other than just the ball going to the hoop. And that's that's growth as a player that when these guys understand that they can impact winning in other ways and just when the ball goes in for sure. Um, talking about free throws in particular, you know, 11 for 13 from the line that's really effective. How are you able to, you know, balance the frustration? you know, from field goals and just shoot really well from the line as well, because free throws are very mental. Uh, just, you know, trying to focus, uh, you know, just trying to focus. I mean, that's, you, you have an off nights like, off nights like that, the ball's not going in the basket. That's one way, that's an efficient, uh, efficient way to score. So, you know, just stepping up there with confidence and just taking, taking your time, taking deep breaths, you know, knocking down. And then just last one, really for all three of you, um, after three straight losses, you have six games left. You're trying to get into the MAC tournament. How big is this win for morale? I mean, it's huge. We needed we needed something like this, but it's grinding and gritty just to get us going. I feel like, and I feel like we can continue to grow off of this and you know fix some mistakes. And I feel like it's, it's a good step in stone. Yeah, I, you know, we talked this week about just being one and zero today. You know, just controlling what we can control. Try to be one and zero today. Uh, we got that accomplished. Now we gotta we gotta get back after a long long uh, bus ride, get some rest, and try to go one and zero on on Saturday. I agree with both. Thanks all. I appreciate it. Thank you.